Leipzig. Hello. She is going to be helping with the Hangout and teaching us how to do this card this week. All right, Noelle, yes. I'm going to give it to you now. Wow, right over to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tip this down so that you can see the stuff. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. So we're going to take cupcake wrappers. Actually, let me show you. This is what we're making. These cards that look like this. The trees. Pretty. And you don't have to use green and white. You can make them. You don't have to use Christmas colors at all. You can make them whatever you want. So we're going to cut the cupcake wrapper. Cupcake wrappers. If I can talk, that'll be helpful. All right. Just cut the middle part out. And Melody, you were talking about cutting a whole bunch of them at once, which you certainly yeah. do. There's really no science to it. Just get the middle part out. Okay? And I want everybody to know I have never, ever made these before. So I'm doing it for my first time. So if you guys want to join in, don't feel like you can't do it because it'll be my first time also. If I can do this, anybody can do this. All right. So you can cupcake wrapper. you got the top part where you just cut it off. And you just tape all the way across the strip. You still see that, all right? Yep. It does and curl if, up. If anyone has any questions, you can hit the Q and A. If you're on the event page, I just shared it on Facebook also, so you can ask questions and we'll answer them. And Noelle's showing us right now, and then I'm gonna try it. All right. And that's probably when the humor begins. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> all right. Now, I I let it overlap. A little bit, but not a ton. Otherwise, it won't fit on the card. So, all right, can you still see what I'm doing? So you just, yep. like you do a ruffle, lay it down. You have to kind of make it straight a little bit, top part. And you just tape it on. I painted my nails for you today, Melody. Oh, they're beautiful. You should feel honored. I like hardly ever paint my nails. All right, and then just trim the extra off. And then save the extra because when you get near the top, that'll fit on the top. Which it might even, oh, it might even fit on this one. Yeah, it will. So I'm just going to use the rest of the same piece that I had. And then you can choose if you want them to be, you can do them really close together so it looks super thick, or you can give it some space. You know, it depends on the pattern of your cupcake wrapper, too. All right, and then you just put the next layer on there. Can you still see what I'm doing? I can't see what you see, so. All right, that might have been a little short. Okay, so we've got the next layer on there. All right, and then you just take another one. I've already cut a few out just to save some time. Okay, you just cut the circle out of another one. And you can even just do all the, the tape on all of them at once if you want. It only takes like four or five. And we have a question from Melinda. She's okay. asking what size is the triangle? Oh, all right. I cut out a piece of cardstock that was four inches by four and a half. And then what I did, or you can do this on your Cricut, of course, but to cheat, I did that. And then I just kind of folded the top a little bit to give me the center point. And then I'm oh, like. Oh, well, that's a good idea because I didn't do that. And mine's not straight. <laughs> oh, and you know what? It doesn't have to be. It's okay. And then I just lined this up on my paper cutter, the center point on here with the bottom here, and just cut it there and then flipped it over and cut it here. So it ends up being a four inch, four inch? Yeah, yeah four, four inch space. And then it's a four and a half inch tall isosceles triangle. Back to those geometry days. Okay. All right. And Lisa is asking, uh, is there a list of materials? There is a list of materials on the event page, but can you go ahead and list a few of the materials for us? I would be happy to. So obviously you need cupcake wrappers and And they can scissors. be any size. They can be any size, so it doesn't matter. They can be any pattern. Um, I've even used, you know, the ones that you can buy that are white and foil just in the cupcake oh, section. Yeah. The foil ones are really cute. Um, and then it's just to make the tree. So yeah, you need the triangle, the cupcake wrappers, a way to cut the center out, and then I like the tape adhesive better. It doesn't have to be the ATG, but the tape works better than the glue because it, it it keeps it in place while you're going. If, you, if you're using wet glue, it would be kind of hard. So, um, And then <laughs> you're having a party my, there. My phone was ringing. <laughs> 
And then when we put it into a card, I just uh, had a card base with a black layer and then a piece of pattern paper. And then the trunk, I just used craft card stock. And for mine, um, I was <laughs> cupcake wrapper stuck to my hand. Um, I like the um, the forest branches cuddle bug cartridge just to put a little texture on that craft card stock piece just because it looks cool. It's upside down. Kind of looks woody. That's a piece of wood. That's I really have, it. Does that make sense I have so one far? Too. I used to, and I'm going to show that. Oh, great. Um, does that answer the question? I Did think I miss so. something? Okay. All Not right. Unless they ask another one. Oh, all right. You're doing a great job with questions. Now that one I did come a little short on, but so then you just keep layering it. So you cut it, and then again you have to kind of keep pushing it straight. See, I'm keeping this part here as straight as I can. Do that layer. Cut it off, and it's probably better to leave a little extra because then we can turn it over and trim it. But you don't want to cut it too short, okay? And then the next layer. These go pretty fast. So are all you guys watching getting your materials ready and you're going to do it with me? <laughs> right. I should have pre-taped a bunch of these before we started. But oh, that's all right. Okay. And just go until you get to the top. I just kind of stick the last one up on the top, just like that. It doesn't look pretty, but so you end up with this, and then flip it over, and just go along. Are we in the camera here? Okay. Just go along your triangle piece, and trim it. I should be using my other scissors because I don't like to get these sticky, but oh well. What? Side. Have a tree. Cool. Okay. And then do a little layering here. So I'm put the, and you don't have to do all these layers, especially if you're going to mail these. You really want to do not as many layers. So I know this is going to be crooked because I'm doing it on the camera. <laughs> And we have another question. Is okay. Lisa is asking, are you crimping the wrapper a little as you go to give it more dimension? Uh, no, because it's already crimped since it's a wrapper. I am trying to kind of straighten it. Um, I don't know if you've ever put lace or ribbon on something where you've had to kind of, or lace or um, a ruffle on something where you have to kind of keep it straight. But no, it's already got all the crimps in it. I'm just trying to make it straight so that it will make nice even lines. Wow, that's really crooked. Look at how crooked that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Then I just I glue the tree the trunk on first. On the bottom. Usually I have a straight line to line it up with, but not today. Oops, let's say I had one too many hot chocolates with this one today. All crooked. Okay. And then tape the tree on. And that's it. And you could put your center. Put your sentiment on here, or just put it on the inside. That's really pretty. You could put um, little bling or something on the tree, like little lights or ornaments or something too. Absolutely, I did one. I used some of that um, that bling on a roll, and I, oh, I yeah. just stuck that underneath each one, so it looked like it had the Christmas lights on it. That's cool. You all you put oh, all I'm kinds so of sparkly things on it. So, all right, does that make sense? Are you ready to go, girl? I'm ready. I'm going to switch my cameras. All right. I'm going to come up and watch. Okay. See, that was pretty fast. Yeah, it was. All right. Here's my materials. And I used this Cuddlebug folder by the Paper Studio. I also had the one she had, but this was the first one I found in my thing. That's awesome. And it has, like, wood knots or whatever in it, so I just stuck this on this little one here. And the Paper Studio ones I get at Hobby Lobby when they're 50% off. Okay, so let's do it. start this. Okay, I challenge all of you to race me in doing this. 
<laughs> doing it with me. <laughs> Always a competition with you. So if you're watching this later, uh, you can pause the video, get your stuff together, and start. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Brittany Newland has asked her, her screen is black. I'm not sure why that is, Brittany. Um, I don't know either. Maybe go out and try to come back in again. Unfortunately, technology is not our thing. We're paper girls. Okay. Although you've become quite the computer geek lately with your explore there. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anything for crafting. That's right. <laughs> I know my family always teases me. I can't ride my phone, but I can do anything on the Cricut or the Cricut Crafter. Yeah. Are you doing that on the top of the cupcake wrapper or the bottom? The bottom. You want to do it on the top? Huh? The part up on the top part, the part where you. Cut oh yeah, the yeah. Top. I'm doing that on the top, like where the circle was. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Perfect. I thought you meant like the top of the paper. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell yeah. from the view where your. Yeah, but that's was. a good question. That I'm doing it around where I cut off the circle, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. okay, someone's asking a question or saying something. Uh, Lisa said thank you. She wasn't sure about the crimping. Oh. I think we are good. That's all I see. Yeah, I, did, I just saw some, a paragraph up there. So I... <laughs> okay. I think, I think yours is going to look better than mine, but that's oh, okay. I, there's, they this don't is think... only my first one, and you've done them. I have. I did a ton of them at Christmas time. I use them for my thank you notes for Christmas presents. Oh, cool. Which I did that. I did a little um, digital stamp for myself that said, Tremendously Grateful. I think I sent you yes, one of those. Yes, I did get those, and those are with my card. Oh. And you know I will find those as soon as this video is over. That is fine. <laughs> you don't even need them. But just so that you know, it doesn't have to be a Christmas card, or it can be a thank you for Christmas gifts that you got. Yeah. Great idea. I'm all about the multifunction. Gail like likes, what's huh? that? Gail well, likes your wrappers. Oh, I, assume, I assume she means the ones you're putting on the tree there. But. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where. I got these at one of the craft stores. Yeah, and every holiday Walmart has them in the in their holiday section, and they're so cute. Yeah, I might have gotten them at Walmart, too, because I did buy some at Walmart, I think. Did you see my little glasses stamps I bought at Walmart? I did. I was so mad. I had just been in Walmart that night yeah, actually oh, ordering sure. a pair of glasses. Those Aren't are they so the cutest? cute. They are. Like, to put on little teddy bears or little paper dolls. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to use them. Those are fabulous. I have to go to the Walmart the next town over to get scrappy stuff. Cause mine doesn't have anything at all. Try to make the tops a little bit straighter. Yeah, I was thinking I'm, that. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It doesn't really matter, but it'll be easier to line them up. But you come slap your hand with a ruler. Oh, and all the stuff did not come on this. I'm yeah. Not, I mean, oh, it to me Sometimes the smaller tape runners work a little bit easier, too, if you have a smaller one. I have lots of smaller ones, but not handy. Oh, sorry. I keep moving my camera. I also did a um, birthday card where I just put a little bit of a cupcake wrapper on the edge of it, so you can use them oh, like, like yeah. as a rough, like as a ruffle on a card if you don't have a piece of lace, that or just be you really cool. can put them anywhere on the card and make them like a little ruffle. Look, and I'm just ripping it. <laughs> That's okay. That's perfectly fine. The number of cupcake wrappers you bought, we're going to need lots of ideas for these cupcake wrappers. Yeah, because you know I have a lot. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> and it's all good. I kept buying them. Okay. I think I got <laughs> done. Yep. You did great. That's perfect. Oh, Let's flip it over are. and trim it. Great. These, I'm going to try this on the card just to see what it looks like and put some on the edge. I'm not going to really put it. I'm just going to look at it and put it. Sure. I can't see this. You can do whatever you want. It's your hangout. 
<laughs> I, it, you know what's really crazy? What's I was that? cutting this paper to put on the background, you know, and uh -huh. this is from a 12 by 12, and I was going to cut more sheets so I could share with you guys. <laughs> oh. That's how crazy I've been like, wait a minute, no one's going to be here. It's just going to be a video. <laughs> kind of like when you make us smell your cookies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not doing this, but I'm just wondering how this would look. Oh, that's a great idea. Like, you can make a ruffle underneath one of your layers. Absolutely. Or... Have it match the tree. That's adorable. Yeah, isn't that cute? Okay, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do it simple. You may need to trim the bottom of your tree so it still fits on the card. Oh, yeah, because it is but, bigger. And that's okay. I've had to do that many times. I'm really nervous, you guys, because I always edit my videos, and these Hangouts are never edited. They're just live, and that's what it is. Okay. Uh, we just have some more things here. So Gail said, I want those glasses. She went last night and they don't even have any of that stuff anymore. Sometimes you have to check other Walmarts. My Walmart doesn't have any of it, but the one the next town over has everything. So. Well, and, if I go back to Walmart, I'll try to buy some extras <laughs> so I can send them to you guys. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, Melinda said she's surprised you found those cute eyeglasses at Walmart. Ours has has all but quit carrying any craft stuff. Yeah, they, a lot of them did. And then KD, hi everyone, sorry I'm late. I love those little glasses I recently got at Teddy Bear Parade. Those are going to be super with that. Um, yeah, each Walmart is, is uh, run individually by their manager, so it's the managers that decide uh, oh, really? if, if they have the crafty aisle or not. Oh, so, so we could talk to our manager. Go talk to your manager if you want the craft stuff put in. I don't know if it will happen, but they're it do, that if doesn't enough come, people ask. That's right. That doesn't come from the home office. That's a manager level thing. Oh, that's good to know, Noelle. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're Walmart expert here. <laughs> um, was, oh, I have two Walmarts, and one of them carries the craft stuff, and one of them doesn't. Isn't that weird? Okay, now what about the pricing on some of the stuff at Walmart? The Cricut cartridges, there's mm -hmm. one there that's still $50 that should not be $50. Okay, and that I'm I like, don't. You can buy that anywhere for like $20. Mm -hmm. It's a really old one. Wow. And I then, don't know how that works. That's a very good question, how the pricing comes down. My, um, our Cricut light cartridges are on sale for $29 from $39, and they've been that way for months and months and months. And see, that's why the managers take the crafting aisle out. Yeah. Because we're not buying those. Uh -huh. How nice and straight your layers are. You do better on camera with these things. I could have to, like, take this one completely apart. I'm putting extra adhesive on this top piece because it was only attached by this tiny little piece here. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Oh, but it didn't go. Why is this not working? all stuck on here. See, now this is the part I'd be editing out. <laughs> <laughs> should not be editing. It's so fun to watch. <laughs> oh, that's just not... I'm going to start over on that one. <laughs> oh, I hope this video is showing you doing this. I know a couple of the other Hangouts, it's not been showing the person doing the action. I think it is. Okay, good. I hope so. Yeah. I, I had it on you while I was doing the action, and I think whatever I have it on on my video is what is showing. Good. I think. Good, good. The way I would like it to. Yeah. Okay. What time is it? Uh, it's 1.50. You're doing great. In 20 time. minutes. And you guys know Noelle has something else to show us with cupcake wrappers, too. So we want to get to that. So I'm just going to... Nice job. You got this.
So, how are you guys doing? Is anyone crafting with us? Or are you guys just watching? Going to do it later. Not answering. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. I'm done. Yeah, it looks look awesome. Very good. Very good. Oh, Katie is saying uh, she mail ordered Walmart once for two for 50 cartridges. Not sure if that's their regular price all the time. Oh, yeah, I have done that on Walmart.com. And then if you do the site to store, you don't have to pay shipping, by the way. Yeah. And Kathy Godsky is excited. She can see me crafty live. Woohoo! See, live is good, Melody. You don't need to do all that editing. Yeah, this is much easier. You spend so much time. Okay, now you want to show us your tree? Okay, so this is what the trees look like. And then I did this one for Valentine's Day, so I just strung some little hearts. I thought of for Valentine's Day. Yeah, and then I thought I'd make one for St. Patrick's Day. So the way you do this is you need a cone shape out of paper. And so the first cone that I made, I just took a piece of paper and made a cone out of it. And then every time I went to do it, I, I had to trim it. So once I had a perfect one, I, I kept the part I cut out and used that as my pattern. So you just, and, and a lot of the Cricut, car, there are Cricut cartridges that have cone shapes. You just need a cone. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I've just taped mine together. All right. And then, again, the same exact thing with the cupcake wrappers. So you put the tape on. Ah! She's falling apart on me. And just like with the other trees, you start at the bottom. And you put the cupcake wrapper on. And you just keep straightening it as you go around the bottom of the cone. Cool. So first it looks like a witch's hat. And, and I, I'm, actually, <laughs> I'm actually tearing it a little bit as I do it. And that's okay because, you know, the next layer is going to cover that up. All right. So you finish that off. And then you take another one to tape on it. Should have pre-taped all this, but I know if I had, my cat would have been over here, and they would have all been stuck to her. Because that's how she likes to roll. And then, so just like we did on the card, you just do the next layer right over the top. See, just keep going all the way up to get to the top. And then with these, it's kind of fun. Then you can maybe throw in a, a silver one or something, or just another color if you want, so that it's got different ones on it, if it's a different holiday and that kind of thing. So that is all you do until you get to the top and you end up with it looking like this. Does that make really sense? Makes sense to me. All right. And if you do it for another holiday, just throw something else on. That was it. That's all I had for you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. That was really good. Now I'm going to read some of the comments. So Melinda says, if you find some extras, I think she's talking about the glasses, that uh, I can use those for a prize or a challenge. That is a great idea. And Lisa says, thank you about the crimping, the answering the question about the crimping. She says the card is beautiful. And Gail Lopez says, LOL, I just answered you guys as if you were here with her. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa is asking, it doesn't matter how much it overlaps. And no, it, it just depends on how thick you want it. Or Yeah. You know. okay. this, this one, it would be the same on the card. I did them really close together on this one, so it made it look kind of thick. And then this one, I did them a little bit farther, so it's not quite as textured. And it's a personal preference. You know, play with it. Come up with the way you like it. And Kathy Godsky says, very cute, Noelle. Well, thank you. I did my but, hair for you and everything. 
She probably didn't just sing it like I did. I don't know why I sing sometimes. Oh. I'm the worst singer ever. You're a good singer. Oh, and I bet she meant the card, not me, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Mickey says you could add some bling for lights. Yep. I don't know if she said that before I did or not. Um, oh, and Lisa wants to know where I got the Christmas paper. And I will show you the pack in just a minute. Um, Victoria Sibbett says, I will be making mine later, but I have them all ready to go and will start after I get my daughter from school. Okay. Oh, and Jerry says, Walmart will price match. Yes, they will. They'll price match anything. You get all my yeah. produce there because they price match the Aldi at. Um... And Baby Girl says, hello, everyone. Just got here, Noelle. I'm sorry I missed your card, but you can watch this later and see everything you missed. That's right. And Gail says, you guys are so sweet. Thanks for the info. And if anyone else has something that they want to teach in a class like this, I don't mind. Let me know. You can always email me. My email is melodylane815 or melodylanedesigns, both at gmail.com. That would be awesome. Um, trying to see if I missed anything. I think I got all the comments. Okay. You uh, tell a story real fast, Noelle. There, put you on the spot. Oh, good. Are you taking I'm your gonna... headphones off? <laughs> yes, because I'm oh, going to get the pad of paper. I do have a story <laughs> I want to tell without you, so this is good. Okay. Okay, so Melody's birthday is coming up on April 4th, and I thought it would be really fun to do a surprise and to kind of do a giveaway with it. So, start making birthday cards for her, and I will come near this again sometime and explain. I can't hear don't, you. Don't send them yet, though, because oh, I'll don't know tell you what yelling. we're going to do. And <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she won't find out. So, if she doesn't put her headphones on, let's see. Okay, so, if make a card. If I can get every subscriber to put one dollar in a card and send it to her, and then I'm going to have her do a drawing each day of the week of her birthday out of the birthday cards, and I will send you a prize, a giveaway for sending her birthday card. All right? How does that sound, everybody? Okay. okay. Can I put you my can headphones back. back on? Yes, you can come back. <laughs> I'm yelling like I have headphones on. I'm talking to other people because I can't hear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we could hear you just fine. <laughs> now that you've blown okay. out my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Okay, this is the pack of paper I got that from. I have no idea how old this is. I don't, it could be new. I could have just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I, this might be one I just bought this past year when they were on sale. I have to go is. back through your videos and look and see. Yeah, it's in my videos. I think every single craft item I've ever bought is in a video somewhere. I think it is, too. But this is the pack. I think, yeah, I think I just bought this one. That's cute. Yeah, I really like it. You can use that. I love the snowman. Yeah, it has a lot of things that's not... You know, it can be used for other things. Cute. Okay. All right, guys. That's our video. Oh, and look, we got it under 30 minutes. Woohoo! We're getting better. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Gail says the tree looks awesome. Um, they all love the Christmas tree. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And thank you, Noelle, for hosting this one. That was awesome. It was less stress on me having you do some of it. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Anything to alleviate your stress. Thank you so much, guys. And I probably won't be doing any videos real soon because I have so much to do to get ready for my um, cropping weekend. But I'll be doing videos there, too. Good. All right. Have fun. Thank you. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you Bye. Too. Bye.